Before he was forced to drink the hemlock, Socrates talked about what happens after death and before the next birth. According to the Greeks, the way that proceeded is that you know, the soul would drink the waters of Lethe and forget everything. But the process of incarnation involved, on the basis of the soul's character, you being assigned your daemon by the fate Lachesis, whose name has something to do with our word luck in a way. It, I'm not sure if it's got a genuine entomological relationship, but she was, it's about the throwing of lots. And Lachesis would connect you with the unique daemon, which is like the, the guardian angel, the unique magnetism, the quality that would be your soul nature in this next life. And then once your daemon was assigned, the fate Clotho would determine the time and place of your birth, whether your parents were in love, whether they were happy, whether they were rich or poor, the full complexity of the time, war, peace, all the rest, all of that would be determined. And that would be your spindle destiny, the way that the, the spindle of the, the weaver would, would weave your life. So once that was determined, you had all of the things that we consider heredity and environment established with Clotho. Then Lachesis would come in and she would, you would see her again and she would give you the quality of magnetism or luck that would surround the daemon. And then Atropos, she who cannot be turned, would determine when the cloth would be cut, the moment of your death. Now there's no malleability to Clotho or Atropos. You can't negotiate with your spindle destiny or the moment of your death. But your character is something you have total control over. It is by cultivating virtue, and this is Socrates' point, that we actually change our character and we change our, the magnetism and we actually are in a conversation with our daemon, with our soul nature. Well, learning to hear that daemon and learning to cultivate the virtue that is specific to you, the unique quality of your daemon, that's the hidden sort of lesson in this ancient Greek myth. And it's central to this integral soul journey that I'm interested to invite you to participate in.